Diamond is a two-year project which was funded by the uh, Lifelong Learning Programme under the Grundvik sub-programme, which means it is a project addressed to adult learners. The idea of Diamond was actually that of involving in museum activities, scientific museum activities, audiences which are not traditional museum audiences, mainly disadvantaged groups, using an innovative tool such as digital storytelling. A visita Museul Național de Historie Naturală Grigore Antipa. Me llamo Emilio Arroyo. Soy de Córdoba y tengo 88 años. Me gustaron mucho todos los talleres que trajeron, pero el que más me impresionó the digital stories are actually only the final results of a long process, which was actually the core part of the project. We are using the stories to evaluate the process of deep personal engagement. A fost odată într-un oraș moldovenesc, Bacău, o familie modestă compusă din patru persoane. Locuia într-o casă cu o curte mică și o grădină în care se cultivau cele necesare. Cel mai mic membru al familiei, o fetiță, avea mare pasiune pentru păsări și animale. Această pasiune o încânta, o înveselea, o mulțumea suflet. The evaluation in this case is based on the stories and on their contents and mainly on qualitative indicators which have been preferred to quantitative ones. Para mí es muy gratificante trabajar con personas mayores. Este es mi abuelo. Trabajaba como agricultor en un pequeño pueblo en la montaña. I heard about the digital storytelling, actually that it has been used for different purposes, dealing with conflict. And to find some reconciliation, some healing. It was effectively a course Esaustivo, completamente esaustivo per me. I learned many things that I couldn't have thought about before coming here. The way uh, the digital storytelling could be introduced and how people can be uh, involved in this process, it was a, of a great interest and, and it was a very valuable knowledge I learned here. I've learned a lot because the training was not only aimed at doing your own digital story, but it was also aimed at making us uh, aware of what you need to become a facilitator. How to get people sharing their stories. I, I certainly myself shared a story that I couldn't imagine telling other people before. Avendo mio qualche difficoltà esprimere me stesso è stato anche un modo, diciamo, per raccontarmi un po'. We learn uh, different methods about uh, how to open open the people because I think it's really important. I thought the story circles were particularly useful and the exercises that we we did there were really helpful to get stories going and to understand that Everyone has a story, um, it can be really small or it can be really big. Learnt what sort of exercises you can do to uh, encourage people to think about their stories using a personal object to start with. It's been an interesting process and a really fulfilling one because actually the end product is visible, it's this uh, digital story. It's when your mind constantly sifts through layers of unresolved issues, sometimes there is a moment of clarity. When I was a young woman in the 1980s, I lived at a campus in Copenhagen. 
where six young Icelandic families lived like an extended family. Digital storytelling is a, is a way of uh, working your own memories through uh, visual images. Finding those right images, making sure that it all worked together, getting the sequence right. Find the point of the story. Utilizzando l'audio, che era una cosa di cui non avevo minimamente idea. I don't think I'm there yet in terms of all the technology, but I can see certainly what the potential is. I think I learned that the technical side is not a barrier because the, the software and so on is accessible as easy. It's exciting that you can continue to learn in your life new things, new experiences. <laughs> Everybody has a story and I think it's um, a really empowering thing to be able to tell young people that they have something to contribute. It could be a very good tool uh, in the museum as well to explain the meaning or the value of uh, rooms or objects exhibited in the museum. I think it has great potential for giving people a voice and people of all different ages and backgrounds. Uh, I think you can capture their views very well and I think it's a good way to actually advocate. Giving like normal people a way of expressing themselves in, in this multimedia environment we live today. I've learned and I will use and I've enjoyed. What we have discovered actually are a numbers of unexpected results which we actually found out as maybe the most important results of the project in terms of personal development of participants, in terms of development of intrapersonal, interpersonal social relationships, and also in terms of changing of the institutions themselves.